Hi, in this video, let us see how to download and install the latest MySQL in Windows 10 or 11. So just go to any of your browser and type MySQL. So you can get this MySQL.com website. So just go to it. So now here, click downloads part. So in, in the downloads, just scroll down. Here you can see MySQL community gpl downloads just click this menu so here you can see the various options here you can click this mysql installer for windows so here you can see the the latest version of the mysql so here it is mysql 8.0.43 so here already the version is selected and the operating system is also selected here you can see two different download buttons so you can select the second one which is around 354.3 mp so just click this download so it asks for the login or sign up no need to go for it just click this menu no thanks just start my download So now it asks to save your location. I'm just saving it in the desktop. Now the download is started. Now after some time the download is completed. So now you can see this and you can just see the size that is 354 MB. So now let us install it. So just double click this. Now after some time you can see the MySQL installer is starting this initial process. So after some time you can see this window choosing a setup type. So here you can select the final option that is custom and then click the next. So now here you can see the products that is available and here you can just select this plus symbol and so that the MySQL server expands and again select the plus symbol so that the MySQL server 8.0 comes and after that you can see the final mysql server 8.0.43 and then after selecting it click this arrow button so that it will be moved to the products to be installed and then in the application parts again you can see mysql workbench shell and router things so you here you can select this mysql workbench and again the mysql workbench 8.0.43 and then you can select this in to the products to be installed and finally you can select this mysql shell 8.0.43 and you can select it to be installed so here i have selected three different products that is mysql server mysql workbench mysql shell and after that you can just select this next button so here you can see the products to be installed and then click the execute button so now it is installing one by one now after some time you can see the status of each products that is complete 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 and while installing you can see the progress of the which products is installed and ready to install all those details so now let us click this next button so now you can see this uh, mysql server 8.0.43 ready to configure and click next so now here you can see the port number 3306 that is the default for the mysql in case if you're already having some different version of mysql or for php you would have used tools called vamp exam kind of thing where the mysql is available which also uses the port 3306 so in case if such kind of things is already installed you may get conflict during the installation so make sure that you don't have any mysql is already installed in your system so that the port 3306 is not allocated so now let us click the next button so now here it asks for the authentication method so you can select the first one use strong password encryption for authentication which is recommended and click next so now here it asks for the mysql root password so for our projects we are using the default password as root so we are giving the password as root root and then click the next one so now you can see the configuration details which are selected you let me leave it as the default and then click the next button and now for the server permissions yes you 
you need to select this first option yes grant full access and then click next so now let us apply the configuration by clicking the execute button now after some time you can see the configuration of mysql server 8.0.43 was successful so let us click the finish button so now you can see the installation complete so that you can just click this finish button so now you can see the mysql workbench and mysql shell has been opened let me close these two things now let us make the path for the mysql so just go to the c drive where the mysql has been installed so just go to the c program files and then go to the mysql where you can see the mysql server 8.0 inside that you can see the bin so now let copy the location from the address bar so now you can search environmental variables in your search so you can see this edit the environmental variables control panel so just select this so here you can see the environmental variables so just select this environmental variables here you can see the system variables down in the system variables you need to select this path and then click edit so now here just select a place where it is empty and double click it and paste the location that we have copied and click ok so now click ok so now again you can click this ok so so now we have set the path file for the mysql so now let us open the mysql workbench So after opening your MySQL workbench, you can see the MySQL connections, my local instance MySQL. So just double click it and here you can see the, it is asking for password. Already I have given the password as root. So I'm giving the password as root and click OK. So now you can see the MySQL workbench has been opened successfully. And if you go to your command prompt and type mysql space hyphen hyphen version and click enter so now you can see it is displaying as mysql 8.0.43 for windows so now the mysql has been successfully installed in your pc for windows so this is all about this video and thank you for watching